channel very relaxed today so I just want to get it out of the way yes I have a lisp and it's like I've got a sweet in my mouth or something I feel a little bit embarrassed very conscious but I think it's gonna be like this for a good few weeks and I've already put off filming a haul so please bear with me it will get better for those of you that are a bit behind on my videos or you're not following me on Instagram I had lingual braces fitted behind the teeth I'll leave the link to the video for anyone that wants to see that or ask me any questions but yeah that is why I've got this weird lisp and I'm sorry and hopefully it will go soon and I am very conscious about it but we'll try and ignore it so I'm going to get straight into this video because I think because I've addressed it now it's even worse so um, yeah there's so much in this haul it's all there, I'm looking at it, so many good things to show you and that's because I haven't filmed a haul for a long time I've been really busy doing other videos we did our whole Vietnam segment so if you didn't see all those five videos, take a look at them and it's just all accumulated really it's a, a winter haul, predominantly knitwear which you've probably seen from the fun now and I didn't go out of my way to find knitwear or knitwear on the high street this is literally organically what I've been buying I have bought everything on in this haul bar a couple of things that were gifted that I'd asked for so uh, the company had asked me do you want anything and I was like yes I want this and they were all things that I originally wanted so it really is all the stuff that I love and pretty much all of it I've paid for so um yeah high street knitwear is so good at the moment and I've got so many good pieces to share with you the first thing that I want to talk about are my new Chanel boots because I'm pretty much going to style everything in this haul with the Chanel boots. Um, I'll do an um, share the unboxing video here that I did in my last vlog um, and I said that I would explain it in this haul so let me quickly go and grab them. I brought the slippers over as well I'm going to talk about. So these are the boots. They sold these boots about two or three seasons ago. Uh, maybe about four or five seasons ago actually and they also do them in the flat and I never bought them I was I'm an R and it was actually the start of me being really sensible and then I regretted it ever since really and I don't do that with everything but they're just very classic and you'll see from the the cutaways that when you've got black leggings on with these it's so fluid and goes right into the leggings so I definitely recommend that with ankle boots I had a pair of Zara ones that were really fitted and if you wear them with black leather leather leggings especially leather ones because these are leather it elongates your leg so so well and then it's got the small side detail there and if you've seen my last vlog where i've got the chanel jumper on these are the buttons so i saw them in paris didn't buy them because i, I had i didn't even know they were back and i felt all under pressure i was on a press trip Danielle was buying her trainers and I knew she'd been looking for them for six months I wanted her to enjoy her little moment and not me take over like I always do so I came back to London and I found my pair so I bought them and I've been wearing them all weekend they're so comfortable um I'll put up a picture here of me wearing them but I have got my new bag in that image so you might have to wait for me to show you what they look like but you're going to see them on here so that's those I promise I'll speak about them and I actually bought them the day that I got my braces fitted because I just felt in so much pain and I was waiting for my, my watch to be fixed and all the paperwork to be done and I ended up buying them but super happy with them that's the box they came in the next pair of shoes I want to show you are these I blame you guys for these because um, I actually discovered them I'd seen them briefly but was like nope I'm not getting any more pearl boots and I got messaged them so much I haven't even tried them on yet actually you messaged me them so so much and I ended up finding them on the outlet at a really good price so they're flat jumanji boots with pearls and a lot of the boots I've been buying at the moment are at the Chanel ones my pearl ones are at the Chanel ones I haven't actually bought any flat boots this this year so here they are they're a bit over the top they remind me of a bit like 90s punk or something like that 
but don't you think with the back but I really like them and I love the pearls and I think as long as you wear them with like all black which I'll show you how I style them they were just just a real good find on the outlet and what I love about the outlet is everything's clean and nice and you shop just like this porte and it's like it's even their motto it's the thr the thrill of the find sorry that was a tongue mouthful with my, my braces and it's so true when I found these I was like <gasps> I really wanted these full price please let them have my, my my size and they did and then I instantly buy on the outlet because things go so quickly so that was definitely a thrill of a find from the outlet really looking forward to wear them and I love the grainy leather so hopefully I can show you how I'd style those in, those in this video well I am hopefully you like it the next thing I want to talk to you about are my new slippers. I'm going to talk to you about these because I've been wearing them on stories and going by your reaction, I wanted to include them. And a lot of you asked me, oh, what are they like compared to these? So I have both of them, so I can talk about them. Last year I had the ones that are very similar to, to these, like they're, they're, they're not UGG, but they're another Aussie brand. And a lot of you were saying that these aren't as comfortable, but I actually find them just as comfortable and I really, really love them. I love them that they have the sole. And if I really want to pop outside in the garden, I can. But I, I try not to go out even in my slippers because I love wearing these at home and I, I try not to go out in the garden with them because I hate having shoes on in the house. So they're both super comfy. Um, I had these on the other day while I was waiting for my nails to dry and wear the fur is dented, it actually doesn't touch the polish. So they're both really different. I absolutely love them. They're so warm and cosy. I have I don't really have any carpet at home, so slippers are an essential for me. And I'm pretty sure um no, do you know what? I've got so many things from Fig Leaves because that's where I bought these. But I'm going to save them for my Christmas gifting video because I've bought so many presents already. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to talk to you about them because it's a cosy winter thing so let's pop up into the clothes row i don't want to keep this any longer because i have so many things to show you okay so here we are at the clothes row same old thing that i normally do and by the way if you think my eyes are a bit red i think i've covered it up really well with the makeup i've had the worst eczema today and it's because i was greedy last night and had cheese and i get eczema when i have cheese so knitwear i love knitwear so much and i i don't want to be i'm such a knitwear expert but i think i've learned a lot over the years i studied fabric at university um it's a passion i buy a lot of knitwear i wear a lot of knitwear so just a natural thing i i know where to get the good knitwear basically and you don't always pay for what you get when it comes to knitwear like there are lots of jumpers at acne i love acne studios but i tend to stay away from their knitwear because it's so itchy and i can't stand itchy knitwear um and like this for example i'll talk about this first this is a marks and spencers knit and it is so amazing i've been wearing it like off the shoulder it's super soft it feels expensive it looks expensive it's such an affordable price it looks good with jeans leather trousers and it's so thick and cozy but light i also hate really heavy knitwear whereas the cardigan as this is for buying it online Sorry, Marks and Spencer, I do really, really love you, but the knitwear version of this, sorry, the cardigan version of this, I don't know what happened, but it is like really itchy flat fabric. And I was so disappointed because I really wanted to buy that one. But luckily I bought it in store. This is the other one that I've bought. I actually wore this in my last vlog, so have a look at that if you want to see me wearing it. Um, lilac really suits my skin tone pinks don't suit me but lilac is a bit cooler and it really suits me and i love layering up different beiges and beige looks really nice with gray so i'm really glad i bought these two colors they're both on my instagram if you want to go and see that but this is probably one of the best most luxe looking and most affordable pieces of knitwear definitely a must marks and spencers have done really well with that the only i've got a couple of non high street but this is one of them this is a love shack fancy jumper from oxygen boutique i've mentioned oxygen boutique before on my channel i love this they only had a small left and i hate buying small in knitwear so i was sure i was going to return it but it actually runs quite big i guess where it's an american brand and i quite like having a bit of it it's not cropped at all but it's not oversized so it actually looks really good with leather leggings the knitwear is really soft it's not itchy so i really like that it's not cashmere but it's very very soft and i like the the picket 
puff shoulder which is typical of love, love shack fancy and they also do the cardigan version of this um, but I really love it I'm really happy with it it's also in my last vlog where I'm with a pair of jeans the next uh, style that I want to show you is such a fab find from H&M there's a jumper that I'm going to show you in my next haul. I was going to use it in this, put it in this, but I've had so much. So I've got another haul coming. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. And I saw it in the window. And I've just had my braces. And Paris said, which never happens. He said, oh, that is really nice. Let's get it for you. And it's like a £15 jumper, but I really liked it. And I literally bought all of these at the till. So these are... Um, $12.99 Thin Knits from H&M and I bought it in, they have it in pink which I didn't buy but I bought it in grey, black and beige and honestly I think that these are nicer than the acne ones. I have this in acne and I do really love it and it has lasted a long long time but for me personally with all my sensitive skin I can't stand mohair, I just can't bear it, I feel like it's a bit itchy all the hair goes in like my lipstick and literally I can't bear it whereas this does the same thing and I really recommend that if you don't have any thin knits definitely get some thin knits especially for autumn and then again in spring and actually even in winter because layering actually keeps you more warm than just wearing one chunky knit like this so you can wear this with a shirt with a t-shirt you can wear it on its own I love wearing it with like a long lacy thin shirt underneath so the lace cuff show i love laying it with leather jackets with a scarf with a hat you can really play with your own style like my mum wears these and she'll wear it with a shirt and like a long wool coat or cashmere coat i'll wear it in an xl or an l off the shoulder with a leather jacket you can really do so many different styles but they're very very soft really good quality i've worn everything but these have labels on because they i got doubles of everything and the other ones are at my flat um, and then I just bought the exact same again in a v-neck because I think v-necks are really flattering this is navy and I also bought a grey one v-necks are really flattering I love wearing necklaces v-necks are really good for off the shoulder and navy is flattering on any skin tone I think so I think navy gets so overlooked but it's just so chic and so flattering and I'll probably lay that with my um, my velvet bowman jacket which we'll see so really recommend these i got this one randomly i was getting a starbucks in chelmsford and h&m is opposite and i saw this like on the side and i bought this because i really liked the dropped hem at the back and the split it would just re look really nice with jeans v-neck is a bit cold in the winter but it's fine for when you're at home when it's not too cold at the moment you can wear a scarf, but I really love baby blue and blondes, especially blondes and blue eyes. So I just bought that as a nice, I think, yeah, that was 19 99 So the key thing that I'm trying to share with you is think thin knits at the moment, especially for autumn. That's those ones out of the way. This was such a fab find. I've actually had this for a few months. I will insert a picture here. I wore this to Paris. I wore this when I shot my project with Timothy Alton. I get so many compliments on it because it looks like Celine. It literally looks like Celine. And when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh, that's so nice, but it looks itchy and it's not. It's so cozy and it looks so good off the shoulder. It looks so expensive. It is such a good find. And I think it was like £35 and they're still in stock. So you know what H&M's like. That's one of my favourite finds. Next, I have an Iris and Ink um, jumper. Uh, talking about the the outlet the other day i've actually ordered some more cashmere but i'm going to put it in my next haul otherwise this is going to be too long this is actually a really really old cashmere knit from the outlet but i just wanted to share an iris and ink brand because the cashmere is so so good it's really affordable it's really good quality and they do like they're not just your average crew or v-neck they'll do something really fashion and statement like this um I struggle with this a little bit because I'm not flat chested but if you're flat chested not don't have to be flat chested but smaller busted this looks so good it also looks back good when I put this back to front and have that at the back but I just wear a bit of a lacy bra without any cleavage and I can just about pull it off I have to be a bit conscious but definitely check out Iris and Imp because they do amazing quality cashmere 
that are a little bit different which normally you only find when you buy something like Chloe or Burberry so definitely check that out this I love I again bought this the same day that I had my braces if you watched my last video I said let's go to Zara this is what I bought so as soon as I saw this in the doorway um, I actually saw it like scrunched up on the side and then found it in the corner and like, it really deserved like front of house this fabric they use all the time in Zara I have like three jumpers and it's like a really soft um really soft fabric and I was about thinking about something else and I bought the nice I completely jumped it's because I was thinking of something at the same time I bought a grey knitwear and this was so soft and I'd worn this to death all year and last year because they keep repeating this fabric I didn't really look at the fabrics that I was that I was I had loads of things in my hand and I wore it yesterday and it's so horrible it was 50 pounds when you think of these being 12 pounds it was 50 pounds and so itchy why bother doing a really nice knitwear and it's itchy but anyway this one's fine obviously it resembles Chanel I shot this the other day with my Chanel boots and it looks so so nice and it was so sunny I could wear it bare legs it's so thick it's very very long and I bought a small as well it runs really really big and it was just so cozy um, and then the next day when it was a bit colder I wore it with black leather leggings and it still looked really good so if you're into Chanel Definitely a good Chanel-esque find from Zara. I'm whizzing through this because I appreciate how, how long this is going to be. This is a knit that I got last year. I discovered this brand on Mikhu Lifestyle, which is a British uh, website that kind of sells all different things, like a concept store. And I'm pretty sure this brand is from Serbia, but check out on the website. And I just love the uniqueness of it. It's got a hood. It's got like these plat pigtails. I've got this in black, um, sorry, pink and red. And I should have brought those ones down because black is really hard to see in the in a photo, but it's very soft, quite a statement. It's not for everyone, but I just really like wearing this like when all, with all black. I love an all black look. I know a lot of people don't, but I absolutely love it. And I think an all black look is a bit of a cop out, but at the same time when you get an all black look done really well there's a big difference in killing an all black outfit than just putting black jeans and a black t-shirt on so this is prime example of someone that wants to do an all black look i feel like i completely lost that but i'll show you when i when i do the styling it just makes an all black outfit look really good messed that one up didn't i this one I got as a last minute thing from Asos, Asos and I actually got it for when I went to Croatia at the airport. It's petite so I bought a UK size 12 and it's fine and I thought it wasn't going to be nothing much but I actually really like it. I love this kind of nudie, muted nude, pinky nude. It's got the bell sleeves and it was so perfect for the airport. It was really warm and again I just love layering knitwear over knitwear and you could wear that with one of the thin grey knits underneath. Just a really good liner for ASOS. This is my first Cotigan. So I was on the Fig Leaves website and I was starting my Christmas shopping. I also wanted a new pair of pyjamas because I'm looking forward to the fire on, the cosy nights indoors. And I wanted to get myself some new pyjamas for these kind of like nights in because that's the kind of adult that I am now. It's literally my favourite thing to do. Clean house, new pyjamas. I needed new slippers desperately, so I, I got the other two slippers. And I randomly found this. I wanted to buy my a new cashmere robe because I got one last year from Fig Leaves and they're so amazing. I've been I've been ordering these for gifts. Some words are really hard for me to, to say. I've been ordering them for gifts because it's the perfect thing to get someone when when you don't know what to get anyone. Everybody loves being cosy at home, so for Christmas I definitely recommend checking out Fig Leaves and I should have a 20% off or some sort of discount code for you. I've got a 20% one off today but by the time this video goes out it might be not there anymore but I'll definitely have a discount code for you. I saw this and had to have it. It was just what I'm looking for. It's a robe slash cardigan, cardigan and I can wear it at home really cosy but if I want to pop out I can actually still keep it on. It looks really nice with the belt 
uh, sometimes I put my crossbody bag over to like cinch it in but it's the most perfect cosy cardigan to wear at home that you can just nip straight out so if you want to pick up the children from school you can keep it on or if you're like me and want to walk the dogs or do whatever you want to do it looks great with everything and it's also really soft I was a bit worried that it wouldn't be soft because I'm particular about that but it's very very soft and I've got medium to go over the side oversized and it also got two pockets so I love that if you're into a cardigan or you want some sort of robe at home to wear out I think that's such a good cosy winter find nearly the last one is my Popsky London Teddyco I guess um these are everywhere your any haul you're watching or any instagram someone's got one of these teddy coats um and i don't blame everyone but there are so many rubbish ones on the market there really is it's just overwhelmed with these kind of coats i have got the max mara one i bought that one last winter and um, this year i bought a new max mara one so with the, the new kind of style like this and i've had a couple of dupe ones that i've not ended up wearing because i've always Oh my god, I can't even tell you how much that hurt because my braces. I don't know how I just did that. Oh, it's so sensitive. How did I do that? Just carry on, just carry on. Oh my god, it's like pulse rating now. It's fine. So, yes, I always go to grab my Max Mara one because the Max Mara one is really sorry it's really uh, warm so there's no reason why I'd go and pick up another one this one however is absolutely amazing to the point where I just wish I'd never wasted all that money on the Max Mara but no Max Mara do feel very special and they are the original one and they do feel great and everything about the Max Mara one is great and I'm glad I've got it and I'm still going to wear it but if you want the next best thing it's definitely a Popsky London out of all the dupes that I found and there are so many reasons why. One, this is really weighty, like the Max Mara one. And I'm so into fabrics and quality and this kind of thing that to me it's important. I know not, not everyone is. The next thing is that the seams at the back really look like the Max Mara one. But for me, it's not the, it's not the, the hope that I'm trying to recreate a designer. It's just that designer in most cases and definitely the pieces i invest in a designer for a reason you're paying for that quality that fit that silhouette the hours going into pattern cutting that is what makes it amazing and this has that so you can see the way that the seam is here and the extra fabric here that it gives that max Mara look whereas a lot of the dupes are just like normal seam straight cut and it doesn't give that that huge oversized look Max Mara is huge and oversized around the shoulders and the back and then it kind of tapers in at the bottom and that's what gives it that look and that's what this coat has um, the shielding is also amazing if you look at my last vlog I spilled a whole cappuccino down me and I thought great that's it it's ruined because it's soft and fluffy but I actually shampooed it stain removed it back to life and then blow dried it and you literally can't tell I wanted to go with something a bit fun because it was a more affordable one than Max Mara and I'm really happy I went with this pink one. They do it in tan, they do it in cream, they do a leopard print one, they do short ones. I'm definitely going to get a cream one because I've been wearing it all the time and it's so so cosy. There's lots of pictures of this on my Instagram. Um, so yeah definitely check that out and I'll link all the other colours. The last thing that I want to show you is my new hat again i got this from the outlet and it was the most perfect hat i've got an oval shaped head so the hats really really suit me well i think so anyway and this is the perfect dove gray color i love how it's very structured i don't like those hats that are all like that it's just too feminine for me i like the more sharp tapered ones i didn't realize that it had this which i don't mind but i would prefer it to not have it most of the time you can't see it but, and I thought as soon as I saw it, oh, I'm not sure on that, I'm going to send it back. But I put it on and I I love it so much that I can suffer this because you can't really see it. I love a good fedora in the winter and it actually, all the heat is trapped in your head and it actually has been keeping me really warm. So that is my winter haul. I'm so happy to be doing one again. Didn't do my hair today, by the way. 
it's a Saturday and I'm just at home. So yeah, that's my winter haul. Next will be a uh, haul that I'm filming with Paris. We're literally gonna film it right now, so it's gonna be a really good one. I'm not gonna give it away, um, but it's not just your average haul, so stay tuned for that one. Um, and if that haul's already out, I'll link it below. Uh, it won't be out right now when this video goes out, but in a week's time it will be out. So that one's coming, and then I'm going to be doing a video of all my luxury items that I've had for the last year, two years, five years, and I'm going to do a haul about styling because I'm always preaching buy stuff that you can invest in and last a lifetime. So I want to remind you that I do keep everything and I don't just buy an expensive thing because it's trendy and then I'm selling it on Depop. I literally buy things that I know I'm going to keep forever because I truly love them and I'm not buying it because it's a trend or you know I just want to remind you that when I buy luxury I do keep them forever 99.9% .9 of the time so I thought it'd be really fun to do a haul of all my existing stuff in my wardrobe nothing new and show you how I like keep re-wearing them over time maybe tweaking them a bit to suit like more of a modern time so lots of exciting videos I've got a whole pile behind this camera of more stuff for a haul just checking the time so i hope you enjoyed this haul don't forget to subscribe i hope you found this inspiring to go and buy yourself some knitwear whether it's thin high street knits or some quirky ones um i always drag at the end but i'll catch you in the next video hopefully i'm speaking better